Greetings, this is Timoteus. In this video, I'll talk about the Roman rituals in honor of the god Mercurius on May 15th, the Mercuralia. Mercurius is a Roman deity that's associated with and depicted similarly to the Greek Hermes. He's the messenger or herald of his father Jupiter. In the Caduceus or herald staff he usually carries in his left hand, symbolizes this. The wings on his sandals and his head, or sometimes on top of his hat, indicate he is able to go from one place to another very quickly. Mercurius is often shown in the company of these three animals, a rooster, a tortoise, and a goat. The rooster can be seen as a reference to his function as one who announces. The tortoise refers to the myth where Mercurius fashioned the world's first lyre out of a tortoise shell. Mercurius later gave it to his fellow god Apollo and he's been carrying it around ever since. The goat or ram show him as a bringer of fertility. This function is sometimes emphasized by adding phallic elements to depictions of Mercurius. Apart from this, Mercurius is also the god of thievery and trade, as suggested by his money bag. It's this aspect that is most prominent in the Mercuralia ritual that was described by Ovidius in the early 1st century. According to Ovidius, merchants would offer Mercurius some incense on the Mercuralia. They would also go and fetch some water from a spring or some body of water in any case that was located near the Porta Capena and considered sacred to Mercurius. Then, the merchants would wet some laurel and use it to sprinkle some of the water on their merchandise as well as on their own heads, hoping this would bring them success in business. This mosaic from Roman North Africa depicts the month of May and a worshipper throwing some incense or some other kind of offering on an altar in front of a cult statue of Mercurius. But why did the Romans honor Mercurius particularly on May 15th? Apparently, the Senate had once founded a temple dedicated to Mercurius on the Ides of May. But that's not all. In ancient Rome, the month of May was associated with death. Throughout this month, several death-related rituals took place, and it was therefore considered to be a very inauspicious time to get married. But what's the link between death and Mercurius? That brings us to another one of his functions, the function of Psychopompus. A Psychopompus, or Psychopomp in English, is an entity that guides the spirits of the dead to the next world. On this Greek face, you can see the brothers Hypnos and Thanatos, or as the Romans called them, Somnus and Mors, meaning sleep and death, carrying a dead body under the supervision of Hermes. The spirit of the deceased would then be guided to the bank of the river Styx. From there, he would board the ferry that would bring him to the netherworld, after paying a small fee to the boatman Caron, that is. For this year's Mercuralia, I'm enshrining this beautiful statuette I happened upon online. It's an exact replica of a Roman statuette of the 1st or 2nd century that's currently kept at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. I'll put a link to some info on the original in the description. Just like the original in the museum, my replica didn't have a caduceus, so I went ahead and made one myself. 
This is probably the coolest statue that I own. I really love it. Okay, folks, that's it for this time. As always, I truly appreciate your likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions. For more links and images, you can follow me on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash Timoteus with a V instead of a U. And for references, you can check out my blog post on the Mercuralia. All the links are in the description below. See you next time and take care. This was Timoteus. Thanks for watching.